Hey guys, enter the stars, and I believe we've stumbled onto the actual framework of the reality of this universe with some of these findings. I can't quite explain it in detail, but what I'm going to show you today is unbelievable. First, we're going to look at the story of Samson in the Bible. Now, we're just going to do a, a quick overview, then I'm going to show you how this relates back to Metallica. And we've discovered that they are from the tribe of Dan. Uh, I think I've presented enough information uh, to show you guys that. But what I'm going to show you today will actually seal the deal. Um, and I was just shocked when I was revealed this information this morning. Through the Holy Spirit, of course. I don't know what this means, but there is a definite parallel to this band to the Bible story of Samson and the Danites. And I'm gonna show you why. Now before we get into this, I want you to look at the name of this video here that I'm showing here. Bilderberg has is, has an ongoing meeting right now. And the only representative that they sent out to talk to the public, his name was Diedrich Samson. Now it just so happens that Metallica will also be performing in Denmark, not far from the Bilderberg meeting on June 3rd, which isn't a few days, you guys. These are no accidents. Now, here's the early story of Samson, and he was actually from, his father was Manoah, was his name, and they were from the clan of the Danites, as it states here. Now, there's a story about how his mother was told that she should not drink wine, or she should not eat anything unclean while Samson was in her womb. Uh, I believe she was barren, so um, the angel came and said that she would basically have a child, and that child was Samson. And so Samson has Dana, Danish roots, or from the tribe of Dan. Now this is where it gets interesting. After Samson grows up, there's a situation where he runs into a lion who he kills, and on his way back from killing this lion, it is filled with bees and he reaches inside of the carcass of this lion and he actually drinks the honey of these bees okay and here it is here here's the description of that it says sometime later when he came back to marry her he turned aside to look at the lion's carcass and he saw a swarm of bees and some honey he scooped out the honey with his hands and ate it as he went along when he rejoiced when he rejoined his parents he gave them some and they ate it, but he did not tell them that he had taken the honey from the lion's carcass. Now, interestingly, he also later on in the story tells a riddle to the Philistines because they are the antagonists in the situation. He says, out of the eater, something to eat, out of the strong, something to sweet, something sweet, and he challenges them to solve this riddle. Well. A woman is actually able to pull the answer of this riddle out of him. They answer the riddle with, what is sweeter than honey, what is stronger than a lion? So the whole storyline is about this lion and honey. And then of course, in the end, Samson actually is discovered in terms of his strength, his source of strength, okay? We all know this part of the story. And his hair is cut and he ends up be weakened because that is the source of his strength and in the end he actually led Israel for 20 years but at the end his hair sl grows back slightly and this is all in biblical this is all in the Bible I'm just summarizing this for you and he's able to push aside two pillars and kill himself and many many Philistines along the way okay and this is the death of Samson in judges okay so fast forward to Metallica and no one I believe can tell you where they got their name unless you follow the veins of truth and that's exactly what I did Metallica is a name of a green bee the only reason why I knew this is because I knew they were a Danish band and I knew the story of Samson. So I did a search on bees and Metallica. And up came the Oglochloriformis Metallica. And this is it, you guys. And this is the lock that they, in fact, are a band of the tribe of Dan. 
but there's more. This is a picture of James Hetfield and he is the lion from the story of Samson. Also, Metallica cut their hair just like Samson and I was shocked to read the story behind that. When Metallica got haircuts in 1996, fans of the ferocious metal gods wondered if they had actually clipped off another of their body parts. Lockless for the release of Load, the once rough edged rockers went all kinds of soft, protesting fan friendly services like Napster, trying their hand at sobriety and enrolling in therapy to talk about their feelings. So basically, they just wanted to make a change, although the album sucked. This is where Metallica lost their strength. Now here are some of the other references of the honey and the bees inside the lion's carcass. One of them is Golden Syrup. This is a brand from the UK. It is one of the oldest brands and they actually acknowledge that this is taken from the biblical story chapter 14 of Judges of Samson. Now also here's a band called Earth the bees made honey in the lion's skull. This is their album cover here. And I was interested to find that there are exactly eight bees actually on the skull of the lion. And then there's three more flying in the air. But we covered the number eight as it relates to the tribe of Dan. As being the symbol of the scales in one hand and the sword in the other. So... The question now becomes, why has not Metallica admitted that this is how they came up with their name now that we found all the other roots from Denmark? And this is where I start to question the fruits of people when they're dishonest in what they're presenting to us. The common knowledge of what they've told people about how they came up with their name was that they were brainstorming with a few other parties and came up with the name but they don't tell us that it is from the tribe of Dan and that it is about the bee the Metallica the green bee and I'll be doing more research on green as it relates to Metallica and bees as well to see if we can find other connections huh <sighs> wow you guys this is amazing stuff like I said we're on a whole nother realm of reality here finding these things because it is all interwoven it is mathematical it is fascinating take care and be safe you guys